it's Katie. Welcome back to How to College. Today, we're going to talk about how to choose a major. It seems like a really daunting task because when you think about it, it's what am I going to do for the rest of my life? This is a lot of pressure. So I have brought a guest with me. This is David Wentz. He is our director of the Writing Center, but together we serve as the undecided advisors on campus. So that means students that are coming in, kind of figuring out what they want to be, exploring different options, those kind of things. So Dave, what would you, what's, what's some advice that you would give a student trying to figure out how to choose a major? Well, when I work with students that come in and really have no idea what they want, um, I will ask them some questions just to kind of get them thinking about what they want in their career. Number one, I guess, is do they like people? Do they want to work with people? Uh, would they prefer to work in groups or individually? Because that will weigh in pretty heavily on uh, the choice of a major. You know, are they more interested in money versus getting that intrinsic mm -hmm. need to help people? Do they want to be creative? Because that's going to weigh in on certain careers more than other careers. So I asked some a barrage of questions uh, with the majors that we have available here, just simply what is it going to take them to feel good about their life, whether it's you know, helping people, whether it's making a lot of money, whether it's uh, whatever other options they have mm -hmm. essentially. So, you know, I think when you are picking a major, you need to think of all of those components essentially. Mm -hmm. Definitely. And the good thing is, is that you have time to choose. You know, when I went to school, my dream job has always been to be a talk show host. And I didn't know what to do for a major for that when I went to college. So I went into journalism and then I went to education and then I wanted to be a meteorologist. But the issue was that there's a lot of science behind it. You don't just get to stand in front of a green screen and point to things. And so there are pieces of different majors that I liked and I was able to come up with working in education, a higher education field. And so thinking about what that looked like, talking to advisors, looking at that but you don't have to choose right away and if you decide you get into a major and you maybe it's not for you then you have options you can change your major uh, within the first two years we recommend doing it early just because we don't want you to fall too far mm -hmm. behind but but you're not locked in the minute you choose a major you have some options and particularly those of you that come in with uh, dual credits from community college that you may have taken at high school, or if you had AP courses or IB, if you were in an IB program, uh, you know, you're gonna be ahead of the game anyway. And particularly if you're on a team or in an activity here and you wanna utilize all four years, then that even gives you more flexibility. Mm -hmm. uh, I know at one point my research, what, this has been a couple of years ago, and parents, you may not like this, but uh, it said that the average college student changed their major six times. I only changed twice, but like Katie, you know, she did. She changed several times, but she did find what she wanted to do, where I found what I wanted to do on the second time. I was a high school teacher before I came here to work. So, you know, if you do change your major a couple of times, it's fine. You'll, you'll be okay. You'll be all right. Here at Iowa Wesleyan, we try to get people into a major by the time they're end of their sophomore year. Mm -hmm. You know, that way they have some chances to get all their classes taken and complete their degree on time. Um, but we do have an option called a selected studies major, which allows you to pick pieces of different majors and create your own adventure type of a thing, um, which some students really appreciate because they like the music part of a music major, but they want some uh, maybe some psychology and, and maybe they want to go into art therapy and do some things like that. So this allows you to really build what you want to do. And so you have lots of options. And I feel like we're getting new concentrations all the time mm -hmm. too within specific majors, which really allows you to build what you want to do. And really many of the basic courses, the general education courses are going to fit in whatever major, like I'm a big proponent of everyone should have psycho some psychology because it really helps you understand people mm -hmm. and anytime you the more you understand people then the better you are going to be at your career whatever that is mm -hmm. just like basic writing basic math all of those are going to help you in whatever field you're in 
Thank you. This has been How to College with Katie and David. Stay tuned as we talk about you've picked out your college, you've picked a major. What do you do when you want to select the right college for you? Stay tuned. <laughs>